I'm coming out of this sober. Guys, I have so many beers. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Aw, uh -uh, there's no way. It's Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm here in Berlin, Germany right now, and I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be testing out different beers, and I'm going to rank my top three beers. So get you a glass, and let's get to beer taste testing. So first, I'm going to try Bex, and I've had Bex before, but it hasn't, it's been a hot minute. I'm gonna try to be classier and pour it in a glass for y'all. So something that I've noticed a difference between American beer, I say beer lightly because it kind of just tastes like water, and German beer is that there is a lot more foam with the German beer than the American beer. So the American beer has very little foam, like little to no foam and the German beer has quite a bit of foam. So that's a pretty significant difference that I have found. Bex is good. Okay, I hope I can taste the difference between beers because I'm not very good at that. But I really like Bex a lot. It tastes, I don't even know. This is going to be the worst video ever because I don't even know how to describe the taste. I feel like I'm going to get so judged on the way I'm describing it, but it's like not very light, but it's not dark either, so it's kind of in the middle. But I don't know what the specific name of that would be, so yeah. Bex, I'm going to give you a solid 8 out of 10. Once I start drinking beer, I get into, I become a chatty Kathy. I'm already a chatty Kathy without beer, but with beer, it's a whole nother story. Prost. Next we have Lubes Pills. I hope I'm saying that right. Lubes Pills. All right, so I think maybe this was around the same color as the Bex, but I'm not too sure about that. Here we go, Lubes Pills, Prost. No, that definitely tastes way different than Bex. I would say that this one goes down smoother, but I don't know if that's in my mind. What do you think? Is Lubes of Pills more smooth than Bex? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to say that I like Lubes of Pills more than I like Bex. And I know that comparing all of these beers is kind of like comparing apples to oranges because each beer is so different but this is just based off my per personal preference if I was at a bar which three would I order over the others just saying so I don't want to hear oh but this beer is so different than other beer you really can't compare it this is just my personal preference my top three beers that I would drink if I was at a bar here in Germany good lose the pills Lou. Lubza, Lubza pills. I like you. Lubza pills. I'm gonna give you a solid nine out of ten. Oh, this is ein Hamburger beer. Holsten Pilsner Premium. Is this no? Okay. so scared okay cool mmm it's good but I have to
to say I like the Luza pills. Those of y'all that are a beer expert, let me know what my taste is because I don't really understand the difference between any of these beers. So I would like to know like what is more my taste. I would say I like the Loser Lubza pills the best and this one it's good but it's not my favorite. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it above the Luza pills or the Bex. Mm, I'm sorry, Holston, but I'm going to give you a 6 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. All right. So right here, we have Radle. 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 I've heard a lot about this beer, but I've actually never tried it. I don't think I've tried it, but... You know, maybe I did on one of those nights. Okay. Radle here. I'm guessing it's gonna have a lemony, lemony, lemony taste. This smells good. This is good. This is really good. But I couldn't picture myself drinking it one night. Like I couldn't picture myself going to a bar and just drinking this one because it's very sweet. But it's really good. I could picture how this would be especially good on a summer day or something like that. It's good. I like it. I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. I like it a lot. I just couldn't picture myself drinking it consistently. But you know, maybe if you have a few of these in you, it doesn't really matter anyway, so. Right here, I have Berliner Kindle. I'm a little bit biased to this one. I drink this one quite frequently. So I have a feeling this is going to go in my top three so far, but we will see. Fun fact is, so here the drinking age is 16 for beer, um, but in the USA, obviously, it's not, you can't drink until you're 21. And I was a goody two-shoes, y'all, so I was like, no, I'm not going to drink illegally. I'm never going to do that. So I didn't have my first drink until I was in Germany when I was 20 about to be 21 I was like a month away from being 21 and it was I don't remember what beer it was I thought it was Berliner Kindle but I was wrong I'll insert the clip here that was my first time ever having a beer and I'm actually really glad that I waited for my first beer to be in Germany. It set the standards a little bit high for me. I feel like I deserved German citizenship after that. Mmm! I just love this one so much. I don't know, it's like the perfect taste for me. Like I could drink five of these in a row. Unlike the, the Rattler, even though a Rattler was good, this one is just one that you could keep drinking and drinking. For me at least, like the taste is settling for my stomach. Lekka. Oda? Berlina Kindle, you get a 10 out of 10 for me. You're my bae. What can I say? Ich habe ein Posit und dann trinke Bier. 24 hours later. Berlina Baka Pills? I tried another pills earlier. Maybe not. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really even know what pills means. But let's try this one. So here we go. I really, I like that one. I don't know if it's just the beer that tipped my mind. 
this one of the, like out of all, I can't even form words right now. I'm gonna give you a nine out of 10. Here's another pills. Honestly, I think these pills are a little bit heavier in my stomach because right now it's just like, it's getting harder to drink because it's just filling up in my stomach. Let's try this pills out. That's a good sound right there. That's a sound you want to hear when you come home from a long day of work. Y'all, I honestly can't tell like what they taste like right now. I think it's good. I'm gonna give it, it's good, like I would keep drinking it right now, so I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I'm gonna give it a nine out of, this, out of 10. Uh-uh. Premium rice beer? Rice beer. Does that mean, I don't know, rice beer, right? I don't know. There we go. I just, I hit the jam. You want to say hi? Hi. To who? To the hi. camera. <laughs> ich trinke Bier. Oh, I want to say this every in the morning. <laughs> Nine, <laughs> 4 p.m. Oh, yeah, it's okay. So you're about to record? Oh, I've been recording. I'm on... Oh, you already filled the beer? <laughs> Talk to my mama. Now let me try this beer. It's good. I really like this one a lot too. It's really good. It's way different than the other beers. I think this, like the other ones were apples and this one is orange. And I like the orange. I like the orange. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. 8.5, it's good. So this was recommended by one of my subscribers and that is crappy fisher hello crappy fisher and he recommended that i try the berliner kindle weiss with this himbia so i'm gonna try this combination i'm pretty excited about it i went to three different places before i could find Berliner Kindle Weisse, but I found it at Edeka's. So, let's begin. I feel like I'm really gonna like this a lot. It smells good if you like, but don't go like that. It's not gonna be good. All right, here we go. I think I'm doing this right. I'm gonna add a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to mix it, but I am. I'm gonna mix it. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Crappy Fisher, you were not playing games with me. You were not playing games with me. Das ist sehr lecker, lecker, sehr lecker. Mmm, wow. Uh-uh. Nope. This is a note to end on. Prost. This is the moment y'all have been waiting for. I'm going to rank my top three beers. Number one, Berlin, Berliner Kindle. I'm sorry. It's just my bae. I have to. Runner up to Berlin, Berliner Kindle. Bad boy right here. This combo. And I really like this combo because it's like you control how much of this you have in it. So I could drink this all night because it's not too sweet. It's whatever you want. And then for my number three, I'm gonna have to say 
I'm gonna go with the Patronus Vice Beer. I thought this was really good too. So those are my top three. What are your top three favorite ones? Did I miss any beers? What beers should I try? Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, and hit the bell notification so that way you get notifications when my videos come out. This week I'll be going to Munich, so I will see y'all next time in Munich. Cheers, ciao, auf Wiedersehen.